heaven and today is our safe day in our marathon fasting and prayer today is the day the lord has made we rejoice also and be glad in it i want you to know that during this time of fasting and prayer seeking the face of god god is in the midst of his children and definitely whatever be your prayer and supplication as we lift up our prayers to god god will answer you and show you great and awesome thing before i even we start praying the only word i would like to tell you is that the bible says that the just shall live by faith and not by sight the just shall live by faith and not by sight the bible also makes us to understand that we walk by faith and not by sight this year just the secret of breaking through is to walk by faith your faith in the word of the lord your faith in jesus christ your faith in the promises of God. You have to learn to refuse to be moved by reality, moved by fact, moved by what you hear, what you see, what you experience. You have to be moved by the word of God. The just shall live by their faith in God. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4 says that the just, those who are justified, those who are redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the only way they can overcome and over subdue and resist and overcome all resistance and every roadblocks in before them is through their faith. Um, David overcame Goliath by his faith. Um, Daniel was able to survive the fire by his faith. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were also able to overcome the fires of life by their faith. If you have faith and you hold on to your faith in Jesus Christ and you not waver and you not doubt, you will overcome every storm and your impossibilities will become possible when you exalt the word of god above your situation so today i speak into your life that this year live by faith the bible said that the just shall live by faith they shall survive by faith they shall break through by faith they shall overcome by faith they shall receive their healing their miracles their deliverance by their faith in jesus christ in jehovah adonai we walk by faith as believers we walk by faith and not by sight if you walk by sight you are going down with your problems and you are going down with the rest of the world but if you live by faith you will soar up on high like the eagle amen and amen this is the word of the lord for us tonight to live by our faith in jesus christ and how do you get faith faith comes by hearing and hearing ye the word of the lord so this year that's what god was encouraging us from the beginning if you join us you realize that I'm emphasizing on reading the word, reading the word, meditating on the word day and night, that you may make your ways prosperous, that you may attain good success. The word of the Lord, faith comes by hearing and hearing ye the word of God. Hearing and hearing ye the word of the Lord. Faith will come. You will get faith and be able to overcome and withstand all the fairy doubt of the enemy by you hearing and hearing ye the word of the Lord. Ask yourself, what do you hear most in your daily life? Whatever you are hearing is what is going to influence you and dictate your life and allow things to happen to you. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing ye the word of the Lord. So make sure that this year you tune your ears to the hearing of the word of God until the word of God is imbibed inside your spirit. Until the, Jesus says that the words that I speak to you they are spirit and they are life the spirit of god always brings liberty so when you hear the word of the lord it will bring the spirit of god and the spirit of, the spirit of god will bring liberty to you set you free from every spirit of depression anxiety fear worry any change every shackles the word of the lord also brings life you begin to enjoy abundance of life when the word of god is in you so our advice you that make sure that this year you tune your ears daily to the hearing of the word of the lord reading the word of the lord and also hearing anointed sermons and words that will encourage and fill your spirit with what god is saying every day the devil is saying things um, human beings are saying things you are also saying things to yourself but make sure that your ears are tuned in to what god is saying because after january you begin to hear or see what the world will begin to present to you challenges and storms are going to come it is the word of god in you which will allow you to enjoy life because if you have enough word of god in you whatever storm that comes the word of god in you will steal the storms because you will say it is written it is written 
When the devil comes knocking at your door with sickness, you are able to quote and say, it is written. When the devil comes knocking at your door to kill you, you will be able to say, it is written. When the devil comes trying to take your marriage, you will be able to say, it is written. When the devil comes trying to take your job, you will be able to say, it is written. Why are you going to get there? It is written. The it is written must be in your spirit because you have been reading the Bible. So this year, reading the whatever you sow is what you reap. Whatever you sow into the word of God, sow into your prayer life, is exactly what you reap. So I encourage you all to read the Bible, meditate on it day and night, and also hear ye the word of the Lord. It is for your own benefit and for your own good, because the, very soon the year 2013 will be beginning to present its ugly side, and it will take the just to live by their feet. And where would your feet be? Will your faith be in your finances? Your faith be in your own strength? Your faith be in the politicians? Your faith be in your husband or wife or your children? All things will fill you. The Bible says that heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will never fail. My word will never pass away. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. That is when you realize that if you have been digesting the word of the Lord, it will help you in the days of trouble. If you don't have the word of the Lord, then you'll be found wanting. Today, I encourage you all to live by faith and not by sight. Hi, this is some quick announcement. Um, join us every Tuesdays and Fridays for the conference prayer on the prayer line. Every Tuesdays from 10 p.m. Eastern Time, we meet. Eastern Time is 10 p.m. Um, Central Time is 9 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time is 8 p.m. and Pacific Time is 7 p.m. We meet every Tuesday for prayers, so make sure you join us. A lot of people watch the prayers on YouTube, however, they don't know that we do meet live every Tuesdays and Fridays. So Tuesdays we meet 10 p.m. Eastern Time. 9 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 7 p.m. Pacific Time. And on Friday, that's just for one hour on Tuesdays. We meet just for one hour on Tuesday, um, Tuesdays. However, on Friday, it's our uh, deliverance, miracle, and healing prayers. So if you want deliverance, miracle, and healing, come join us on the conference call live on Fridays also which is three hours and we meet 11 uh, 11 p.m eastern time 10 p.m central time 9 p.m mountain standard time and 8 p.m pacific time so on fridays is our deliverance healing and miracle uh, prayers and it's for three hours so make sure you join us i repeat again fridays is 11 p.m we start at 11 p.m eastern time 10 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Pacific Time. So do join us. And the number you you have to call is 559-726-1200. 559-726-1200. And the access code is 950014-POUND. 950014 pound join us on tuesdays and fridays for prayers tuesdays is one hour fridays is three hours and you will be blessed also if you are you want to join us through uh and you are calling from outside of the united states you can also call us use your skype the skype my skype is k boache K A Y B O A C H I E. K A Y B O A C H I E. Skype is also a, an easy way if you are having a long distance call. You can use the Skype to have access to the live conference. Also, for those of you who, for some reason, cannot be on the phone but you want to hear the live or the pre recorded version of the prayers, you can now go to Blog Talk Radio and also watch us uh, or listen to the prayers if you want to just listen to it and still do what you have to do because some of you may be 
working and want to still hear what is going on, you can go to www.blogtalkradio.com slash kweku and the kweku is k-w-a-k-u and the watch is b-o-a-c-h-i so www.blogtalkradio.com slash kweku bwache k-w-a-k-u b that's the quick one that watches b-o-a-c-h-i um all this information if you want to get it you can email me at o-o-k-a-k-u 55 at yahoo.com o-o-k-a-k-u 55 at yahoo.com and i can send you this information or facebook me on k k a y b and the last name is boachi b o a c h i k boachi k k a y b o a c h i e or you can call me and i'll give you the information on 443 975 i'll make i'll leave all this information at the end of this message I'll write it down so that you can um, see it again. Also, you can check us on our website if you want more information or the things I've already given you. And our website is www.freshfireprayer.com. Our website is www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer and all this information are out there for you to get access to also for those of you who are living in maryland virginia baltimore and close by um from the year 2013 the first sunday we are now will be meeting regularly every sunday every sunday 4 p.m to 6 p.m for prayers so it's called an, the hour of power prayers hour of power prayers and an intensive prayers and you can come in and come in expecting anything because i believe that prayers covers all things so if you want healing deliverance uh restoration miracles if you want to be revived you if you want to get yourself empowered in prayers to get the presence of god to move in the next level with your relationship with Jesus Christ through prayers. Join us every Sunday, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And the location is in uh, Walker Mills Baptist Church. Walker Mills Baptist Church. And the address is 6801. 6801 Walker Mills Road. The Walker is just walking. Walker W A L K G R. Walker Mills M I L L Road. It is in Capital Heights. Capital Heights. C A P I T A L. And the height is H E I G H T S. Capital Heights, Maryland. And the zip code is two zero four two zero seven four three two zero seven four three. So join us every Sunday up in the year 2013 moving forward. Every Sunday 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And the location is Walker Mills Baptist Church located in 68 Walker Mills Road, Capital Heights, Maryland, 20743. That is where we'll be meeting. So join us and you'll be immensely blessed. I also want to let you know that in the year 2013, we'll be having three major meetings. And the first one, the first meeting will be held in february 15th to 17th and it's called the hour of power the hour of power with jesus christ you no know, meeting or conference or where we meet uh, and and everybody's open um is welcome to join us it's more or less like a revival or a 
I wouldn't say revival. With Fresh Fire Ministry, we believe in getting yourself revived every day. So it is a time where we meet to have intensive fellowship. On the, our first meeting, God willing, will be on February 5th. Um, February 15th to 17th from Friday to Sunday the Monday is going to be a holiday and now I, I can say for certain that um, this meeting the first one um, those of you having challenge with pregnancy come in and let's believe God because once you come in and we pray we believe God that by the end of the year God will open up your womb it's also going to be a time for people who are singles and want to get settled come in it is it's for everybody it's for everybody but if you are if you find yourself with um, barrenness or you are looking for it, to settle maritally uh, i recommend you also come in and as we we do intensive prayers and also if you need if you want to go to the next level in your prayer life and in your relationship with jesus christ through prayers I would advise you to come because it will be a time for healing, deliverance, restoration of marriages. We'll cover everything. We'll cover everything. But I, advi I, I admonish singles and the barren also to make sure they show up so that they will be blessed. But if you want to go to the next level in your ministry, uh, it's a non a, a fresh farm ministry, non denominational. So if you're a prophetess, you're a pastor, you're a post, whatever, and you want to go to the next level in your prayer life, I believe that an hour of power with Jesus Christ meeting will help you that by the time you go back, you'll be carrying the power of God to go and revive and also take your ministry to the next level. So I welcome you February. And our meeting place, I believe, will be at Welcome Mills Baptist Church 6801 Walker Mills Baptist Church. It is the address is 6, 6801 Walker Mills Road, Capital Heights, MD 20743. The same location. You can find this information in our website, which is www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. So that you can know what's taking place and our next meeting will be on May Hour of Power whereby it's open to everybody. Hour of Power with Jesus Christ, the meetings, the crusade or the conference is open to everybody uh, if you are even out of state. The next one will be May, 24th May to 26th, 24th to 26th from Friday to Sunday and the Monday is holiday and also come in and you'll be blessed and the last one will be in October 11th to October 13th October 11th to October 13th and the Monday, uh, Friday to Sunday and the Monday is a holiday and for now all the meeting place I know for now is in the Walker Mills Baptist Church which is located in 68, 6801 6801 Walker Mills Road Capital Heights Maryland 20743 For, uh, to make sure you you know the date and the location is right make sure you frequent our uh, website to make sure that you update yourself and if you have any questions about this um, conferences and this crusades and uh, call me on 443 973 na let me repeat Four four three nine seven five fifty three zero three four four three nine seven five fifty three zero three. Call me and um, ask me about the the details of these meetings, and I'll let you know. Or you can email me on o o k a k u fifty five at yahoo dot com o o k a k u fifty five at yahoo dot com or you can Facebook me at K. The first name is K. K A Y. K A Y. The last name is Boachi. B O A C H I E. You can Facebook me and ask me. And if you are willing to come, also send me an email and let me know you are coming or Facebook that you are coming. I will also let you know where to get accommodation. It is free. It is free, but you have to be prepared 
to get a place to rent to sleep during the uh, three days program and I tell you the truth you will not wait your coming to these programs because in the year 2013 we are moving into the deeps we are moving into the deeps and a lot of things will be happening in our in this time in this year and we have to hold on to God through faith and believe God the Bible says that the just shall live by faith the just shall live by faith and those who know their God they shall be strong and they shall do exploit the Bible says that on the face of the earth there shall be gross darkness there shall be darkness on the face of the earth but arise and shine for your light is come so I believe these meetings are when we will call upon the name of the Lord to save us to help us to help us to be able to fulfill his purpose for us in the year also if you are interested in getting the book spiritual diagnosis which deals with helping you to diagnose some of the problems you are going through generational cases breaking jukes breaking yourself from the spirit of Leviathan or serpent you know all these deliverance prayers and all those things you can order spiritual diagnosis some of you are going through so many problems and you don't even know where the problem is coming from spiritual diagnosis will help you to diagnose the problem you are going through and most of my prayers is the prayers we do on Fridays and Tuesdays is channeled on deliverance and spiritual diagnosis so if you get a book it will help you to diagnose to locate to discover what is really wrong with the foundations of your problem so that when you are praying you pray right many people are praying and are still in problem because they are not praying the right prayers or are not locating the right source of problem you know so buy the book spiritual diagnosis it's ten dollars but with shipping and everything fifteen dollars and i'll send you the book um, if you want you are interested in the spiritual diagnosis book you can email me o o k a k u 55 at yahoo.com and let me know and i'll send you a copy i'll let you know how you can pay for it the email is o o k a k u 55 at yahoo.com or you can facebook me at k k a y b o a c h i e k is the first name k a y the last name is boache b o a c h i e and i'll get you the information however make sure if you are in Maryland, Virginia, Baltimore, DC, join us every Sunday from in the year 2013 from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. in Walker Mills Baptist Church, 6801 Walker Mills Road, Capital Heights, Maryland, 20743. That's the zip code, 20743. I will write all the information out there so that you can join us and you'll be blessed. Join us also on Tuesdays and Fridays and you'll be blessed. And if you have a, an emergency, you can also give me a call on 443-975-5303. However, if you call and you don't get me, leave a message or call back. Try and call back. We have a lot of people calling me and sometimes I'm not able to get hold on them on timely fashion but keep on calling and if you don't get me make sure you join us on Tuesdays and Fridays you always get me or if you are around the area join us on Fridays and you get me and then I can be of great help to you but your main helper is our Lord Jesus Christ develop a life of prayer for yourself the key to success in deliverance in breakthrough healing and getting connected is consistency and persistence you have to be consistent and you have to be, have a persistent consistent prayer life and then you can have victory over the enemy i wish you all the best and i wish you the lord's blessing and may the lord keep you remember jesus christ is on his way and is coming soon he will take us by surprise nobody knows the day or the time is coming and his coming will interrupt with your schedule and my schedule so make sure that every single day of your life you are ready for jesus if you don't know jesus then this is the time for you to accept him into your life as your Lord and personal Savior so that you will not be left behind. If you are a Christian, this is the time for you to hold on tight to Jesus. 
because he is coming. The days of hypocrisy, wish you worship roller coaster Christianity is over. Make sure you worship him in truth and in spirit and you separate yourself from the world. Separate yourself from your sins and with your things that are weighing you down and work with God. Without holiness, nobody can see God. This is a call for this end time. Our redemption is right now and we have to lift up our heads and wait patiently for the manifestation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Those who have Jesus will have life, have life and have life much more abundantly. Those who have rejected Jesus Christ are already condemned. In this year that we are, have entered in 2013 moving forward, great tribulations lies ahead of the world. It will only take those who hold on to God who are going to survive. Those who depend on their own wisdom, intelligence, and are already claimed Christians and the things of God, they are going to be taken by, by surprise. Your help is in the Lord. So hold on tight to our Lord Jesus Christ and He will help you. When you call upon Him, He will answer you. But the Bible says that call upon the name of the Lord and you will be saved. Call, ask and it shall be given. Seek and it shall find knock and the door shall be opened unto you. So please, if you don't know Jesus, accept Him today. If you know Christ, hold on to Him and serve Him. Read your Bible, meditate on it, obey the word, shun evil, live a holy life, and don't play hypocrisy Christianity. Let Jesus Christ tell you, I know you not, you workers of iniquity. And you say, Jesus, didn't I prophesy, didn't I preach in your name, didn't I sing, <coughs> didn't I give you tithe and offering, and you tell you, you workers of iniquity, so even though you cast demons in my name, you are still living in sin, and you will he will cut you into the lake of fire. Please don't let that be your portion. Don't let that be my portion. Let us worship God in truth and in spirit and live to magnify his name. Please. And keep the fire of the Holy Ghost burning through prayers and Bible studies and living right. May God bless you. Shalom.